Arethi. Um, give it up for him. So I wasn't expecting to, I was gonna be a witness today, but there it goes. <clears throat> so this one's called Air. I saw your picture yesterday and made me smile, made me realize how good I had it, how good it felt to be part of your space, how good it felt to breathe the same air despite the quiet moments that air connected us. That air had our thoughts clash as we disagreed, mended our thoughts as we agreed with each other. That air made us one with nature, as if the grass underneath us voluntarily grew to a cushion of heaviness of our love as we always supported. The air sent butterflies to our stomachs when we first met because that air had my hey and your hello face each other. That air sent a surge down my spine so divine that I felt God engulf me in a ray of everything that is great. Made the turbines of my lungs expand and made its way to my chest, palpitating my heart so I know how important you are to my everyday moments. Fingertips. That air between my fingertips felt as dense as rain as it felt, as it falls unintentionally on the thick of the windshield on my car on a Saturday night. That air sits in the seat that you are obligated to leave because you have to wake up the next morning, setting your 10 alarms knowing full well you're only going to wake up to the last one. That air makes flowers wisp through the air and fall exactly as they're supposed to be. That air makes fire bloom, makes fire on the surface of water so beautiful as elements blend in all the ways arms can hold each other's arms in the right position. That air makes airplanes that weigh in tons lift from the ground into the sky as they are full of helium. But when that air suffocated me, as if your palms made contact with my brave lips, so brave they didn't hold back, they didn't hold back the privileges that they had before they made contact. Air engulfed the space that you felt a void, barely containing I, my air, unraveled your demons from the past that didn't sell well with you. Without my air, I could not bear to take the step towards what I thought was the right direction, as a guiding light in the cave full of stalactites and that are my flaws that I could use to guide, but instead I depend on the light that I am capable of making. That air, that one that surrounds me, guiding my hips into the next footsteps, allows me to love this world even though this world needs more love to breathe. My air is independent when it's alone, but when it steps toward the coldest composure, I know my air will make you melt, melt into the person you want to be because my air makes you feel invincible. My air is igniting. Without my air, fire would be cowardice. It wouldn't even show in desperation. My air is constant. My air compromises and commemorates your inhales because my air is dense. My air makes mosquitoes hover around skin full of tired sweat on your lips. My air is miraculous, it's senile. My air makes flowers bloom, pollinated like forest Dewdrops drops in a summer morning. My air is finesse, it's powerful. My air is unruly. It is a chain lion forced to watch other lions eat. My air is complicated. It is a window cracked open in a win winter night, a whisper that doesn't travel. My air is a broken wing on an ostrich. My air, a war that nobody wins, a collection of photo albums in a house fire. My air is cold, a word without meaning. My air is the moon when you are unable to see it. My air is always there, it has always been there. You chose to hold your breath. Thank you.